Moreton Bay has shocked the experts, bouncing back impressively from last year's damaging floods. It was one of 46 waterways to be graded in the latest report card. Tegan George has the story. Hit hard by last year's floods, Moreton Bay is now on the way back up, its overall health improving from a C- minus to a B-. minus. A great result when you think about what occurred uh, just over 18 months ago. It's the healthiest the bay has been in four years, a shock considering the millions of tonnes of mud that ended up there not so long ago. Nature continues to surprise us, but it's a healthy, robust seagrass bed, and that's returned to like pre-flood conditions. Central Bay showed the greatest improvement, going from a D plus to an A minus. Of the 46 waterways assessed, four failed: the Mid Brisbane catchment, which is below Wyvernhoe, and the Oxley, Bremer, and Logan estuaries. Given the circumstances and given the weather patterns that we've sort of dealt with. It's like to be expected. The Noosa catchment has been downgraded to a B. It's never good at any time to see a report card where there is actually a drop, no matter what the circumstances. Above average rainfall is to blame in some areas, delivering more nutrients and sediment into the water. Riverbank slumping is also a major issue. It means planting, you know, buffer zones of 60 metres. But it's not just the government's responsibility. Landcare groups say everyone can make a difference by getting their hands dirty. From little things, big things grow. Tegan George, 10 News.